All right, Celeste, JC, Coach McGuff, Kevin, thank you very much. Uh, we're going to jump right into uh, questions. And for those individuals on the March Madness Zoom, if you'd like to ask a question, just use your raise hand feature. Uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Go ahead, Thomas. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Congrats on the win. Uh, Coach, were you happy with the response coming out? Yeah, I think overall we had some really good moments. You know, we, we looked back, we looked more like ourselves in terms of our in, intensity, focus, um, and just how hard we were playing. And so I thought we had great moments today. I, I wish we could have sustained that for longer stretches. I thought we got a little sloppy there down the stretch in the second half. Um, another question, Taylor Theory, you always talk about her wanting to be more aggressive. Today it seemed like she was really aggressive. What do you say about her performance? Um, I thought she played really well, had a really balanced game. And, you know, early on, um, her offensive rebounding, giving us extra possessions, I think really kind of set the tone for us. So excellent game by her today. Kevin, uh, Maine coming in, not a particularly strong three-point shooting team when they come out May 3rd, first four from deep. Yeah. Kind of how does that change the game plan kind of moving forward when you come in and kind of get punched in the face like that? Yeah, I think Maine is a really well-coached team. I thought they did a great job. They've had a terrific season, so I want to congratulate them on that. And, and you know, they, they showed up like a championship team should, and they, they were ready to go, and they made some big shots early. And, um, you know, I think we adjusted finally to kind of get them out of a rhythm, but um, they were ready, and so I was impressed with their team. And uh, Celeste, <coughs> for you, overall, a strong defensive performance for the team. How locked in do you feel you guys were on that end today? Uh, yeah, like Coach said, we had some lapses, um, I feel, sometimes, but I think overall the energy was there um, to give us that push defensively. All right. Deion Cash, Dayton Weekly, congratulations on an excellent season and uh, coach of the year coach. Um, JC hit a, you know, the shot at the, at the buzzer in the first quarter, and I feel like that, along with Harris coming in and really having an impact, changed the game a little bit. Talk about the game, that first quarter and the first half a little bit. Yeah, you know, it was obviously back and forth a little bit in the first quarter, and we started to pull away a little bit. And I, I do think JC's shot, you know, gave us just a little extra momentum as we, we headed towards the second quarter. And and I thought the bench was good. The, they came in, Ricky came in, Ty came in. They played with really good energy, um, <clears throat> and I thought that you know kind of helped us wear on them a little bit using our depth a little bit. <clears throat> JC, talk talk about that shot and how it kind of got you going a little bit. Yeah, I think um, obviously time running down, just finding ways to score. But I think uh, really we picked up on the defensive end come that second quarter. And I think that's uh, we sustained that for a little bit. And I think that's what kind of got us going there in the second quarter. So Les, you seem like you were seeing the game pretty well tonight. Talk about your flow tonight and um, what you was able to do out there tonight. Yeah, I mean, um, felt pretty comfortable out there. I mean, as, uh, as the season has gone on, you know, I feel more and more comfortable. But um, I think, honestly, like, the defense is what gets us going. It gets me going. Um, and so just trying to be in those passing lanes, trying to, you know, do as much as I can in the press. You know, when you have some dogs out in the front, it kind of helps a lot, too. Kevin, what does it mean to get to just get back on the winning side of things? I know that you guys had some time off to kind of dissect what happened in the last two, but but just to get back on that side of things. Yeah, it was just good to play a game. I feel like it's been forever since we've played a game and you know we've been practicing against each other and our scout team. And so to have another opponent w was refreshing. And um, you know, like I said, I, I, I think we, we look much more like ourselves um, today than we did in that Maryland game. So you know, I think we handled the, the time and that loss appropriately where we watched film, we processed it, and we kind of put it behind us and moved on to this one. JC, uh, you guys obviously have bigger, much bigger goals than just winning in the first round. But what does it do for you guys to, to have a really big win, you know, a little bit of a blowout win to kind of kick things off in this run that you guys are expecting to go on? Yeah, um, it's, it's big for us. I think we've done a good job all season, uh, in the big time regular season especially, of just focusing on the game in front of us in the next game. And um, that's what we're going to continue to do. So we'll stay and watch this game. And same thing, be prepared and just be focused on our next matchup. For both Celeste and JC, how did the last couple of weeks make you guys stronger as a unit, and how did you grow in that time? Yeah, I think that, you know, obviously you know you're one and done um, if you lose. So it's kind of um, puts pressure on everybody, I feel like. And then, you know, us having it be our last year, you know, um, and the goals that we have set out since the beginning of the season for the team and for each other and for ourselves, um, I think that just is something that keeps motivating us and pushing us. But like JC said, you know, just staying consistent with the mindset of the first game and um, the games that come um, day by day. Absolutely, I would agree. I think um, the pat after that after that loss against Maryland, um, we came back, regrouped, learned a lot from it, and, and worked our butts off. You know, for, for a week, pretty much. So I think that brought us together. Um, had to go through some adversity there, and and we worked through it. But um, yeah. 
Celeste, obviously Duke's gonna be playing here in a little bit. Um, what would what emotions would you you would you feel if you got to you had a chance to play them next round? Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm still close with a lot of them there, um, so it's no bad blood there. But honestly, you know, you treat it like any other game, another competition. You know, obviously. Um, you know, people would assume there would be high emotions. You know, I just, for me, it's just, you know, another competitor on the court because at the same time, I go against my teammates in practice all the time. So um, for me, it's just nice to see them, um, see some familiar faces. Um, but yeah, it'll be really exciting. So, you know, hopefully they can pull out a win. Kevin, and, uh, usually you guys come out really much stronger in the third quarter. This time, today was the second quarter, yeah. a lot of it. <clears throat> um, what sparked that big second quarter run? You know, I, I thought our defense really um, started to pick up. We started to be a little more effective with the press. We had got some turnovers and kind of sped them up a little bit. And I think I think that's kind of where it started. Any other questions? Oh, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Coach, you guys were able to shoot over 50% from the field. That was both an increase in field goal percentage and three-point percentage from the quarterfinal against Maryland. How important was that for the team to get that in the win tonight? Yeah, for sure. I, I, you know, I thought the, the thing that we did well today is we, we moved the ball, we made the extra pass, and we got some balance in our offense. They played zone for 40 minutes, and um, we were still able to get the ball around the basket. We were able to get open threes. Um, we were able to get to the free throw line. And, and, and then if you look at the stat sheet, we really spread the scoring around. And I think that's when we're usually at our best, when we have balance in our scoring. That was my follow-up question. Yeah. What was it like getting that four people on the team gained the double digits? How important is that for the yeah, team? Yeah, if, if you look at like our biggest wins this year and where we've played our best, it's, us that's, it's usually reflected in the balance that, that we have. And so I think today's a great example of that. Just one for anyone. Um, was there any trepidation at all after the time off? Uh, any kernel of the unknown? And if so, when did it go away? I, I didn't know because we practiced really hard. <laughs> and so the way we were practicing, I wasn't really worried about, you know, I knew we had a great opponent today when we would need to be prepared to play Maine, but I wasn't worried about us just based on what I was watching in practice and the effort and intensity and focus that we were practicing with. Any other questions? Okay, Celeste, JC, Kevin, thank you very much. Thank you.